Let's move on to Party Mart. <laughs> Dark Horse. You know. Dark Horse! Yeah, you know. Marty you know can come out and lead Woo! 15 minutes of, of the opening. I'm round. just not sold that he won't tuck the front wheel or just water shit at some point. He's yes, going to do it all year. But let's. We also got to admit, though, at the end of the season, he got some of that stuff figured out. Like, he still had his moments. I was talking about before the quarantine races. How many times do you think him and Bar should be able to? Well, I don't know. Are they still beefing? I don't know. How, do you, how, how many people? So, I, we'll get into Barsha, but how many people do you think over under get into Barsha? Period. Maybe he's a new found man. How many? I don't think about this so. every I think How many guys can sign up for a race? We'll get into what I think. About <laughs> every one of them, every Rod Bell included. Yes. You, can you pass anybody without hitting anybody? This year? <laughs> 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 what about? Uh, I'm taking you off the track here, around you. Well, uh, off topic again, but dude, that was. It was an impressive takeout on Marty for Barsha. Like, yes. you don't just get cross jump like that, dart across the track, slide your ass end into his front wheel, put him down. Like, that's a good. <laughs> and it's crazy, too, because, like, that was uh, that was Atlanta, right, when that happened? What think, race was that? No, oh, that, that was, was not Atlanta. Westwood, oh, okay. Do you think he has people out to his track just to practice takeouts? Like Marsha? Just, yeah, yeah, like, just call up random dudes and be like, no, hey, probably, 100 bucks to come ride with Probably just finds the slowest dude and just tease him. <laughs> just so I can dig you out. Yeah. Oh, I, God, we're way off that. He's been bouncing off Mosman the whole entire time. And we, get, yeah, but, and we keep getting people that aren't coming on the show now. So, anyway. But, yeah, Dabalos, man. I, dark horse for me. Yeah, he's a dark horse for me, too. I think he's going to have those flashes of brilliance, and I think he's going to be... Uh, do you, you dare say he takes back at spot? Nah. I don't, well, he, I don't is think his, is his ceiling as high as Baggett. I don't think he can win a race like Baggett, but I sure as hell can see if he puts it all. To, and I know this is Marty, but he puts it all together for twenty plus one. I think that he can podium. Now I'm not saying he does that consistently, but we know, like I said, Atlanta. Look what he was doing in Atlanta before. What was it? The last lap that uh, he Eli got around. Yeah, because yeah. he just faded because he wasn't used to that. But he ran what second for eighteen, nineteen minutes, yeah. and. I think he can do that again. Now, yes, it takes a perfect race from him to do it because he is prone to tucking that front end or going down in the whoops. But yeah. I, I see him more often than not being in that top ten. I, I think that he is just that good. He's got another year on that KTM. Um, I don't know if Tedder has any different sponsors, so I don't know about that. So I don't know if the bike's getting any updates, but we know that bike's good. Mm -hmm. It's got a good motor in it, so I think that when you see Marty at his best, I think he's going to be in the top ten all the time. I just hey, think his speed gear. is there. O'Neill gear. Is I don't think I agree with that. Top ten all the time? Really? No. Why man, not? I, it's he's just, just so tough, way man. Too I, yeah. he, I think he's got the speed that he could do it, but I don't see the consistency. Well, that's what I mean as far as like when he's in the top ten is when he's like, putting it is together. Is he going to get starts and run top ten most races for at least a while? Yeah, sure, no problem. Is he going to finish there? Eh, it's another story. I mean, the hard, thing party is, party. the hard thing is, is this year, once again, is so entirely stacked. He so. likes to party in the brown. I'm, I agree with you, Travis. Like, I'm, I'm completely sold on his speed and talent. Yeah. But I am not sold on him putting it together. Nope. No, and that's why I say that I think that if he's on it, he'll be in the top ten. But his days that he's, just, he's off, yeah, he's going to be outside the top ten. Because this is the only year that I can think of where a guy like him, if he starts 17th, the best he might get is 13th. Right. He's not going to move forward. And that goes for everybody in the class. That goes for everyone. It doesn't matter if your name's Cooper Webb, Eli Tomac, Adamson Searle. Like, you're not coming from dead last. Cooper Webb. Cooper Webb's coming through the Well, pack. Cooper, because of his, his race IQ. But I'm saying as far as just speed, you're not going to come through the pack like that and make it to the front. It's not going to happen. We'll get to that when we get to some of these other guys and just wrap them up. I just don't see it. I've been watching a lot of races from last year. I've been real bored. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> I don't know what that's relevant to, but... Just saying. I okay. can't wait to hear. Anything uh, else? Anything know. else about Party Marty no. or Brayton here? No. Uh, here's another.